Once you try the sauce in these fish tacos, you will be hooked forever. Hey everyone, I'm Dina from simplyhomecook.com and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make the most incredible fish tacos ever. They're loaded with crispy pieces of fried cod and then I'm gonna show you how to make this incredible Baja cream sauce and then some easy cabbage slaw to go on top of the tacos and then my favorite part is homemade guacamole. If you've never made homemade guacamole, I feel like you were kind of missing out on life. If you only stuck to the store-bought stuff, you will appreciate this so much. So enough talk, let's get right into this recipe. The first thing we're gonna make is the guacamole. So in a bowl, add two tablespoons of finely minced white onion, and then pour about a cup of water into that bowl and then set it aside for like at least five minutes. This is gonna really get that onion flavor out of it so it's not super strong. The next thing you want to do is slice three ripe avocados and make sure that they're nice and ripe. You do not want hard avocados in guacamole. It is not going to be good. <laughs> so to remove the seed, you just kind of need to wedge a sharp knife right into the seed and then carefully discard it with a paper towel around it because that seed can be pretty slippery and it can be a little bit dangerous if you don't do it properly. <laughs> so once you carve all of the avocados out of the, the shell, just plop it into a large bowl. Now take out one lime and then roll it firmly with the palm of your hand. It's going to really help extract the juices. Then slice it open and then you're going to want to juice about four teaspoons of lime juice here. I like to keep it precise because this guacamole is really, really good and you just want to make sure to follow the recipe exactly. So go ahead and pour the lime juice right over the avocados along with one packed teaspoon of chopped cilantro, one small pressed garlic clove, three quarter teaspoons of salt, Add more as needed. Now you want to mash everything up using a potato masher or if you don't have a potato masher you could always use some forks. That does the job. It takes a little longer but it gets the job done. Just keep mashing up the avocados until you have your desired guacamole consistency. By now your onion should be ready to go so just pour out the water and then just kind of strain it through a mesh sieve and add it right into the guacamole. I'm telling you this trick really works. It doesn't leave nearly as strong of an onion flavor. Oh, I almost forgot, you also want to add a quarter cup of diced tomatoes as well. Now grab a spoon and mix everything together thoroughly. Once it's all mixed up, you just want to cover it some plastic wrap and set it aside in the fridge for later. Now on to the cabbage slaw. So for this step, you just want to chop up half of a purple or red cabbage. And I just used a sharp knife, but you can use a box grater or like a mandolin shredder, whatever works for you. I'm kind of old fashioned when it comes to this and I just use a sharp knife. I feel like it's honestly a little bit faster and it's a lot less cleanup, but that's totally up to you. Once the cabbage is all chopped up, transfer it all to a large bowl. Then finally chop up a quarter cup of cilantro and make sure to measure it after it's chopped and make sure to really pack that cup. That cilantro adds a lot of incredible flavor. Then go ahead and add the chopped cilantro right over the cabbage along with one small shredded carrot. Now for some sweetness to the slaw, you're going to need about one and a half tablespoons of honey. And for some tangy flavor, you're going to need the juice of one lime. Just squeeze the juices right over the slaw. Oh, and I almost forgot, you're also going to need two tablespoons of finely chopped red onion. Now grab some tongs and mix everything together thoroughly. Just mix and mix until everything's well combined and then you want to cover it with plastic wrap and put it in the fridge for at least one to two hours, preferably longer, because the longer it sits, the more flavors develop. All right, onto the Baja cream sauce. So into a bowl, add half a cup of sour cream, along with half a cup of mayonnaise. Then add one tablespoon of honey, along with half of a clove of pressed garlic. You don't want too much here. And then you're also going to need the juice of half of a lime. And now the best part about this Baja cream sauce is the chipotle peppers. So all you need is one chipotle pepper and adobo sauce. You do not want to skip this ingredient. This is the star of the show. So just finely chop one chipotle pepper and you want to chop it up as finely as possible. If you want your sauce to be a little extra spicy, feel free to add one more chipotle pepper. But for this recipe, I'm keeping it a little more on the mild side. So once that's all chopped up, add it right into the bowl with the rest of the ingredients. 
Then add one teaspoon of salt, along with a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Then grab a whisk and mix everything together thoroughly. Once that's all mixed up, set it aside for later. Now onto the fish batter. So in a large bowl, add two cups of all-purpose flour, along with a teaspoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Then use a whisk to just gently mix the spices and the flour together. Now slowly pour in about 16 ounces of beer, and you want to make sure to mix as you slowly pour, just so the flour and the liquids are evenly incorporated together, so it's not super lumpy. Just keep mixing until you have a nice smooth batter and then just set it aside and let's work on the fish. For this recipe, I used somewhere between one and a half to two pounds of cod fillets. Now, if you don't wanna use cod, you are more than welcome to use any other kind of white fish. So for this step, the goal is to get even sized pieces of fish. I cut them up into strips that were just a few inches long. That way they fit into their tortillas perfectly. Now place a heavy bottom pot over your burner and then add a few inches of oil. And I used corn oil, but you can use canola or vegetable oil. Really any kind of high smoke point oil will work here. Now bring the oil to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit and begin battering up the fish. And I just use some tongs to dip the fish into the batter and then gently place it into the hot oil. You don't wanna to add too many pieces of fish into the oil or it's gonna drop the temperature and it's just not gonna cook properly. So I only put about four at a time. You definitely want to cook in batches here. So just keep turning the fish. I know it's going to try to favor one side. I just use this, um, what is it, a slotted spoon? <laughs> I guess it's called a slotted spoon. So I just use this to constantly turn the fish so it's just evenly browned throughout. And each batch should take about four to five minutes, just until they're nice and golden brown and perfectly crispy. The most important thing is to always keep an eye on the oil temperature. If it drops a little, just pick it up just a little bit. If it's too high, you want to drop it just a little bit as well. So once the fish is ready to go, just gently transfer it to a plate lined with some paper towels and continue the same process with the rest of the fish. Now when building your fish taco, you can use either flour or corn tortillas. I prefer white corn tortillas and I love to char it just a little bit over a gas burner. It gives that extra charred flavor and it just perfectly complements the fish and the slaw and the Baja cream. It is incredible and I cannot wait for you guys to try this recipe. Once you've loaded up your tacos with all the fixing and the toppings, you want to enjoy them right away because what is the point of a crispy fish taco if you don't have that crunch factor? I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys never miss out on any of my new recipes. See you in the next video.